Coming up on season six of High School Quiz Show, we have Framingham High School. <laughs> Taking on North Quincy High School. <laughs> That's next on High School Quiz Show. <laughs> Report a claim, pay your bill. Safety's mobile app is just one more way we help you manage life storms. For auto, home, and business, ask your independent agent about safety insurance. Hi, everybody, and welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm your host, uh, Billy Costa. Now, back in November, 120 high school teams across Massachusetts competed at our Super Sunday qualifying event to earn one of only 16 spots in this year's competition. The goal now is to become the next high school quiz show state champion and take home this beautiful trophy. Our quiz show champions will then move on to compete against the winners of New Hampshire Public Television's Granite State Challenge in the third annual Governor's Cup competition. Today's matchup has Framingham High School taking on North Quincy High School. Let's get right to it and meet the Framingham team. We have Josh, Jack, Priyanka, and Eli. The team alternate, Varun, and the coach, Robert Langdon. Nice round of applause, please. <laughs> and now the team from North Quincy High School. We have Joseph, Samuel, Gary and Zachary. The alternate is Olivia and coaches Mara Kriz and Danielle Fernandez. <laughs> the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. And we start with a toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points. And this is the only round, by the way, with no point deductions for any wrong answers. So players, if you're ready, so am I. Let's play. Baja California and the Yucatan are peninsulas of what country? Josh. Mexico. Yes, yeah, so what river did George Washington famously cross on Christmas night, 1776, on his way to the Battle of Trenton? Yes, Priyanka. Delaware. Yes, in 2014, what Boston area school won its fifth straight beanpot hockey tournament? Yes, Samuel. Boston College. Yes. Uh, the Cretan bull, which was the father of the Minotaur, was captured by what mythical strongman as one of his 12 labors? Joseph. Hercules. Yes. Take a look at your screens right in front of you. You will see a photograph. Some of the world's richest fossil beds are found in the harsh and rugged landscape of what national park in South Dakota seen here? Yes, Eli. Badlands National Badlands Park. Badlands is correct. Literally meaning rebirth. What period of European history that began in 14th century Italy saw a renewed interest in classical learning and values? Yes, Samuel. Renaissance? Yes. Most stalactites and stalagmites are formed in caves made of what common type of sedimentary rock? Joseph. Limestone? Yes. On the night of April 14, 2014, more than 200 Nigerian schoolgirls were kidnapped by what Islamist militant group? Joseph? Uh, Boko Haram? Correct. I would remind you that extremism in the defense of liberty is no vice. Who said this in his acceptance speech as the 1964 Republican presidential candidate? Joseph? Barry Goldwater? Yes. Your next question is going to be up on the video screens in front of you, so take a look and pay attention. Hi, I'm Dr. M. Sanjan, and I'm a conservation scientist and the host of a new PBS series, Earth, A New Wild. Now, here's my question. Also known as Ursus americanus, what is the only bear species that is native to New England? Yes, Joseph. Uh, the black bear. That is correct. In the mid-80s, Paul McCartney was outbid for the publishing rights to approximately 200 Beatles songs by what king of pop and former collaborator? Joseph. Uh, Michael Jackson. 
Um, the Habanera and the Toreador song are highlights from Watch George Bizet opera about a fiery gypsy woman in Seville, Spain. Yes, Eli. Carmen. Carmen is correct. In the summer of 2014, following the breakdown of U.S.-backed peace talks, what Israeli prime minister ordered military strikes in Gaza against Hamas? Yes, Josh. Netanyahu. Yes. Which of the following is a genetic condition caused by the presence of an extra chromosome? Is it A, Huntington's disease, B, Down syndrome, C, sickle cell anemia? Joseph. Uh, Down syndrome. That is correct. Math question. If a baseball and bat cost $110 and the bat costs $100 more than the ball, how much does the ball cost? Yes, Josh? $5. $5 is correct. A boy trains to become a military commander to thwart an invasion of insect-like aliens called buggers in what 1985 novel by Orson Scott Card? Yes, Joseph. Uh, Ender's Game. That is correct. Uh, the Battles of Bull Run were known by what name among the Confederates? Yes, Jack? Battle of Manassas. Yes. In 2014, North Korea threatened retaliation against the United States over what Seth Rogen film satire about the assassination of Kim Jong-un? Yes, Priyanka. The interview? Yes. Uh, the number of countries that make up the Balkan Peninsula nearly doubled in 1992 as a result of the breakup of what country in Eastern Europe? Yes, Josh. Yugoslavia. Correct. Which of the following great thinkers extolled the virtues of physical education and was a champion wrestler? Was it A, Plato, B, Euclid, or C, Archimedes? Yes, Eli. Plato. Plato is correct. The World War I poem in Flanders Fields mentions what red flower that grows over the graves of fallen soldiers and is a symbol of remembrance? Eli? The poppy. Yes. What dominant Bronze Age culture that invented cuneiform writing had cities in Kish and Ur in southern Mesopotamia? Yes, Eli. Sumer? Yes, that is correct. What is the most widely grown crop in the United States, accounting for more than 90% of total value and production of feed grains? Yes, Joseph. Corn. Corn is right. Math question. If an object travels two feet per second, how many feet does it travel in one hour? Gary? 7,200. Correct. Victoria Falls, the largest waterfall in Africa, is on the border of Zambia and what country to the south? Yes, Josh? Namibia. No, North Quincy? Yes, Zachary? Zimbabwe. Correct. In 1958, U.S. microbiologist Richard B. Roberts coined what term that refers to the primary site for protein synthesis in all living cells? Priyanka? Ribosome. Yes. Uh, what acclaimed 1958 Chinua Achebe novel was the first book about colonialism written from an African point of view? Yes, Eli? Twelve Years a Slave. No, North Quincy, you want to try? Things fall apart is the right answer there. In 2009, the Japanese government apologized to former American prisoners of war who had suffered in what 60-mile forced march through the Philippines in 1942? Yes, Joseph. Uh, Baton Death March. Yes. Famous in the West for films like Rush Hour, what Hong Kong action star joined China's top political advisory board in 2013? Yes, Samuel. Jackie Chan. Yes. Leonardo da Vinci painted his masterpiece, The Mona Lisa, during the early part of what century? Yes, Joseph. 14th. No. Framingham, you want to try? Josh. 15th. No, the correct answer is 16th century. We move on, and there's the bell ending round one. Take a look at the score very close. Framingham High School, 130 points. North Quincy High, 150 points. It's a battle. The head-to-head -head round is coming up, but first we'll take a little break. And the way it works on High School Quiz Show, gang, is I've got a question. Each of you will answer the question in his or her own way. And we're going to start here with Framingham High School and uh, Josh. Here comes the question. How much money would you have to be paid to completely give up the use of a phone or computer for an entire month? I'd have to be paid however much money it costs to go to camp for a month, because at camp I can't use those anyway. 
Okay, there's a good comparison. Jack, how about you? Um, it would probably have to be paid as much as it would cost to go on a tropical vacation with my family, because I'm not going to use it there. All right. Priyanka? Um, enough money to go to Europe for a month. Okay, and Eli? I think enough money to take the entire Framingham quiz team to Europe and a tropical island. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to be honest, I don't think there is enough money, okay? But we'll move on to North Quincy High. And Joseph, how about you? Uh, well, I kind of have, like, a old, junky phone, so I guess maybe, like, $5. <laughs> In the hopes that you'd get a new phone eventually. <laughs> Maybe, huh? <no. laughs> Thank you. Samuel! I'm becoming a monk, so it won't be needed there. Okay. And uh, Gary? Uh, $1,000 for a comfortable bed because of all the extra sleep I'll get. <laughs> and Zachary? I wouldn't need to be paid any money so long as I had a good reason. All right, all right. Now, here's the way it works, okay? Head-to-head -head round is coming up. That means each team will choose a player to come forward and go head to head. So Framingham, who's it gonna be? Eli and North Quincy? Joseph, Eli, Joseph. Come on down, we're going head to head. <laughs> All right, we are set to go head to head. I've got Joseph here from uh, North Quincy High. Good to see you, Joseph, and welcome to the podium. And also Eli from Framingham High School. You guys shake hands and then we'll go head to head, okay? And I want to remind you, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect ones will cost you 10 points. Uh, you can buzz in as soon as you know the answer. So if you're both ready, we'll just set the clock at 90 seconds. And here we go. The ancient practice of acupuncture originated thousands of years ago. China. Yes. Name the only novel ever published by J.D. Salinger. Yes. Catcher in the Rye. Yes. Which constitutional amendment protects the freedom of the press? Yes. First. Yes. Uh, the Strait of Magellan is off the southern tip of what continent? Yes. South America. Yes. Monarch butterflies will only lay their eggs on the leaves of what plant? Yes. Milkweed. Yes. In August 2014, boiling lava and ash erupted from what volcano in Sicily? Yes. Mount uh, Etna. Yes. Uh, what New Englander wrote the popular historical poem, Paul Revere's Ride? Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Yes. Uh, what 2013 Disney title is the highest grossing animated film? Yes. Frozen. Yes. Uh, in 1962, James Meredith became the first black student to enroll at what Southern University? Uh, University of Alabama. No, University of Mississippi. Uh, German measles is caused by what virus? Uh. Rubella. Uh, what dictatorial president ruled the Philippines for 20 years before fleeing the country in 1986? Yes. Marcos. Yes. What New Hampshire resident wrote the best-selling uh, novels Inferno and Da Vinci Code? Yes. Brown. Yes. Uh, Transylvania is a region in what present day? Yes. Oh, Romania. Oh, yes. yes. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> diamonds and other gemstones are measured in what unit of weight? Uh, carrots. Yes. Uh, what part of speech modifies adjectives? Yes. Uh, adverbs. Yes. Big Sur is a scenic region in what U.S. Ooh. In what U.S. state was the question? California was the answer, but we didn't have time to get it in. That's the end of the head-to-head -head round. Score right now, very close. Framingham High School, 210 points. North Quincy High, 190 points. Yes! <laughs> Okay, next up is the category round, and we do have six categories, and they are Letter to Brezhnev, First, There is a Mountain, Ship to Shore, Beautiful Ruins, Desperate Housewives, and Play Ball. Each category has five questions with increasing point values, so there is a lot at stake. And by the way, you can confer with your teammates in this round once you buzz in, though. You are no longer able to confer. We will need an answer. Now, North Quincy High, slightly behind, so you guys get to choose the first category. And what's it going to be? Play ball. Play ball. Questions about the physics of baseball. And for 10 points, derived from the Greek, meaning to move. What form of energy is transferred when a bat hits a baseball pitch? Yes, Joseph. Kinetic energy. That is correct. So you'll keep control. Category? Beautiful ruins, please. <laughs> <laughs> and you said that beautifully, Samuel. Thank you. 
Uh, questions about ancient ruins and for 10 points, what Incan site in Peru is relatively intact because it was never discovered by the Spanish conquistadors and was unknown to the outside world until 1911. Yes, uh, Joseph. Machu Picchu. That is correct, and you've still got control. North Quincy, category? Continue with beautiful ruins, please. Beautiful ruins, this time for 15 points. The Parthenon was built in the 5th century B.C. on what hilltop site used as a citadel above the city of Athens? Yes, Eli. The Acropolis. That is correct. Framingham, you've got the board category. Beautiful ruins for 20. For 20 points, what 73-mile-long stone wall was built by the Roman army across the northern border of Britain to keep out Scottish invaders? Yes, Eli? Hadrian's Wall. That is correct. You've still got control. Category? Beautiful ruins for 25. You got it. Construction of the Great Wall of China began as far back as 770 B.C., but much of what is visible today was built during what dynasty that ruled from 1368 to 1644? Yes, Samuel. The Ming Dynasty. That is correct. North Quincy, you get the board back. Category? Beautiful ruins again, please. Okay, for 30 points, what ancient mountaintop fortress in Israel is the site of the Jews' last stand against the Romans after the fall of Jerusalem in 70 A.D.? Yes, Josh. Masada. Masada is correct. You've got control. You'll need a new category, though. Uh, play ball, please. Play ball this time for 15 uh, points. Unlike wooden bats, aluminum bats compress upon impact with the ball. And this is known as which of the following? A, the ping effect. B, the trampoline effect. C, the transfer effect. Yes, Samuel. The transfer effect? No. Framingham, you want to try? Uh, the answer would be B, the trampoline effect. Framingham, you're still in control of the game category. Play ball, please. For 20 points, the impact between bat and ball is an extremely violent one. You can calculate the impact using Newton's second law of motion, which states that force is equal to mass times what? Yes, Priyanka. Acceleration. Correct. You've still got control, Framingham. Play ball. Play ball for 25 points. Two important factors in a ball's trajectory are lift, which acts perpendicular to the motion, and what other force that acts in a direction opposite to the motion? Yes, Josh. Drag. Drag is correct. You've got the board category. I will finish play ball. 30 points. Named for a Swiss physicist, what principle that allows a curveball to curve also allows an airplane to fly? The Bernoulli yes. effect. That is correct. And North Quincy, you get the board back category. Desperate Housewives. Desperate Housewives. <laughs> Questions about Desperate Housewives in literature and for 10 points. A housewife named Emma dreams of romance and luxury, but instead leads a boring life in provincial France. In what novel by Gustave Flaubert? Yes, Joseph. The Count of Monte Cristo. No, Framingham, you want to try? <laughs> Madame Bovary is uh, the answer. And North Quincy, you've got the board. So, category. Ship to shore, please. Ship to shore. Questions about ships. For 10 points, in May 2014, underwater explorer Barry Clifford discovered what might be the wreck of what ship that sank off the coast of Haiti in 1492? Yes, Joseph. Uh, the Santa Maria. Correct. And you've still got control. Category? Ship to shore, please. Ship to shore for 15 points. In 1789, first mate Fletcher Christian led a mutiny against William Bly, the captain of what British ship bound for Tahiti? The Bounty. Uh, and we move on. North Quincy category? First there is a mountain, please. First there is a mountain. Questions about mountains and for 10 points. Uh, what country is home to famous alpine peaks like the Eiger, the Jungfrau, and the Matterhorn? Joseph? Switzerland. Yes, you've still got control. Category? Mountain again, please. Uh, okay, this time 15 points. What mountain range is the source of the Amazon River and most of its tributaries? Yes, Zachary. The Andes. Yes, and you've still got control, North Quincy. Mountain again, please. For 20 points, located between the Black and Caspian Seas, what mountains dominate the landscape of Armenia, Azerbaijan, and Georgia? Yes, Samuel. The Caucasus Mountains. No, Framingham, you want to try? The Caucasus 
Mountains. It was very close, North Quincy, but uh, you've still got control. Category? Mountains again, please. Mountains again for 25 points. Used for centuries as a gateway to invasions, what historic mountain pass between Afghanistan and Pakistan did Rudyard Kipling call a sword cut through the mountains? Joseph? Uh, the Suleiman Pass. No, Framingham? Yes, Priyanka? The Khyber Pass. Yes, and now you've got the board, Framingham? First there's a mountain. Okay, this time for 30 points. In 1805, the Lewis and Clark expedition barely survived crossing what mountain range that extends 300 miles along the border of Idaho and Montana? Yes, Samuel. The Rocky Mountains? No, Framingham, you want to try it? The Bitterroot Mountains is the right answer there. Framingham, you've still got the board. You'll need a new category, though. Letter to Brezhnev. Letter to Brezhnev. Questions about the Soviet Union. And for 10 points, uh, what political theorist founded the Russian Communist Party and was the architect of the Soviet state? Yes, Samuel. Lenin. Yes. And uh, now you're in control, North Quincy. Uh, Brezhnev again. Letters to Brezhnev, this time for 15 points. Uh, the Soviet Union was also known as the USSR, an acronym that stands for what? Joseph? Uh, United Soviet Socialist Republics. No, Framingham, you want to try it? Yes, the, Eli. The United Socialist Soviet Republics. No, the correct word is Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. North Quincy, you're in control. Brezhnev again, please. Uh, Brezhnev for 20 points. At a 1956 reception for Western ambassadors in Moscow, who famously said, we will bury you, which many Americans interpreted as a nuclear threat? Joseph. Uh, Nikolai Khrushchev. No, Framingham. Nikita Khrushchev is the correct answer. North Quincy, you've got the board still. Desperate Housewives, please. Right. Desperate Housewives for 15 points. In Tolstoy's Anna Karenina, Anna is cast out from society and driven to suicide because of her affair with what dashing military officer? Gary. Vronsky. Vronsky is correct, and you've got the board, North Quincy. Uh, ship to shore, please. Ship to shore for 20 points. In 1941, the British Navy relentlessly chased and sank what ship that was one of Nazi Germany's largest and most powerful battleships? Joseph. Uh, the Bismarck. Yes, you've still got the board. Ship to shore again, please. For 25 points, what battleship became famous after its crew rebelled against their oppressive officers and threw them overboard during the Russian Revolution of 1905? The Potemkin is the answer there. North Quincy, you still have the board. Ship to shore again, please. This time, 30 points at stake. Although Magellan himself did not survive the voyage, in 1522, what ship went down in history as the first to successfully circumnavigate the globe? The Victoria. And, uh, oh, okay, there's the bell. Ending the category round, the score right now. Framingham High, 330 points. North Quincy High, 210 points. Let's hear it for both teams. Okay, we are headed into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. We call it the lightning round. Uh, you get 20 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers, though, will cost you 20 points. The clock is all set and... Here we go. What medical specialty deals with diseases of the hair, nails, and skin? Yes, Zachary. Dermatology. Yes, in 1962, what American actress became the first woman to run a major television studio, Desilu? Yes, Zachary. Lucille Ball. Yes, in what war did Edward III of England proclaim himself King of France? Yes, Joseph. Years war. I'm sorry? The 100 Years War. Yes. Uh, what country has the largest coastline in the world? Joseph? Canada. Yes. Uh, silica, also known as silicon dioxide, has what chemical formula? Joseph. CI2. No, SiO2. What Neil Simon play is about mismatched roommates Felix Unger and Oscar Madison? Yes, Joseph. Rent. No, The Odd Couple. Uh, the Oregon Trail and the Santa Fe Trail were famed wagon trails that departed from what Missouri city? Joseph? Independence. Yes. What prominent physicist turned down the offer of becoming president of Israel? Yes, Elon. Albert Einstein. Yes. Uh, the Sepoy Rebellion of 1857 was a violent uprising against British rule in what country? Jack? India. Yes. Name the only U.S. president who spoke English as a second language. Yes, Elon. Van Buren. 
Yes. Uh, in Greek myth, what beautiful nymph could only repeat the last yes, Zachary? Echo. Yes. What South American country? Ooh. Wow. That's the bell. That's the end of the game. The winner high school quiz show this week, Framingham High School. With a total score of 390 points, North Quincy High, 200. 90 points. Congratulations to both teams. Let's go and make some noise. Okay, Framingham High now moves on to play in the quarterfinals, so be sure to tune in once more. A lot of noise for both teams this week on High School Quiz Show. That's it for this week. We will see you all, and I mean you, right back here next week for High School Quiz Show. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Report a claim. Pay your bill. Safety's mobile app is just one more way we help you manage life's storms. For auto, home, and business, ask your independent agent about safety insurance. Production of WGBH.